Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about two important concepts before we even start learning junkets. And those two important concepts are, as you see on the screen, it is CI and CD process and agile methodology. In this video, I'm going to make you familiar uh, what is continuous integration, what is continuous delivery, and what are the four important values which Agile methodology taught us to be followed in the software development cycle. But before we get into that, let me take a step back and walk you through of how our traditional software development cycle looks like or what is the waterfall model and what are the drawbacks of the, that model and how agile methodology solves the problem with that traditional software development life cycle or the waterfall model. So let's get started. So in the traditional workflow or a waterfall model, we used to have different teams involved in it. So these teams are development team, you have operations team, you have testers or a QA team, and the, finally you have the production support team. So once the developers get the requirement from the users of what kind of product they want or what features they need in the product, the developer or the development team starts writing the code. And once they have finished writing the code, now they need to commit the code. And once the code is committed, it is then put into the source code management tool, which on those days we used to use SVN. And once the code has committed and approved, the operations team then will start building that code using the code base. And once the build is created, the operations team will push that code build into the share folder. Now, the time is to get that build deployed into the lower environment, which in this case would be a QA environment. Once the code is deployed, the testers or a QA team are notified and then they start doing the testing using the test cases. Once the testing is sorry, completed, the feedback is then sent out over to the developers and the stakeholders and this cycle of again working on the code fixing the bugs fixing the dip, uh, defects the developers start writing the code for that and the cycle of committing creating the build continues similar process is followed in the other environments which can be SIT environment which can be UAT environment there can be lots of different environments in the organization and once the code has been deployed in this environment now the production support team comes into picture where they will pull the code and get it deployed into the production environment. This whole process of getting deployed the code in the production environment is only done once the change ticket is approved in the cab meetings or by the change management team to make sure that we keep the track of changes going into the production. This whole life cycle used to take time and this used to take weeks or sometimes months. So now, when, now we have got the familiar with this whole life cycle now understand what were the problems or the drawback of this old 
a model. Right. So the first problem we encountered was the time consuming as this whole process used to take time from writing the code, creating the build, start, uh, doing the testing and finally getting it deployed into the production. The second problem was the cost of change. Since this whole uh, traditional workflow used to involve efforts, time, and the cost of doing that whole development of the product. The third drawback I would say was the poor quality of the product delivered to the end customer. The another drawback was lack of transparency. Since the code was developed, it was committed, it was built and then tested, in this whole cycle, there was no involvement of the stakeholders. So there was no communication. The stakeholders weren't aware what is going on, uh, how much, what is the status of their uh, product. And the last drawback was the linear approach and the rigidness to adopt the changes, which resulted customer unhappy, all right? To solve this problem in 2001, the group of 17 developers gathered and they came up with something called as agile methodology. And this agile methodology is nothing but a document which is used in software development cycle based on four values and 12 principles. So let's take a deep dive or understand what are those flows values and how, how this agile methodology solves our problem. So the first value here is individual interactions over process and tools. In old uh, traditional software uh, development cycle, the most of the time was spent on creating the processes and which tools should use. And there was no interaction between the team. With this agile methodology, the more focus is given in interacting between the teams since those involves lots of teams, which is an operations team, stakeholders team, because at the end of the day, you when you get the input from different teams, you deliver the best product. That's what was the first value focus on giving the importance of valuing the individuals and their feedback over the processes and the tools. The second value was customer collaboration over the contract negotiation. So when we talk about customer collaboration in this, in the older uh, traditional uh, workflow, the customer was uh, brought into a picture at the start of doing the contract signing and then brought into a picture once the product is developed. There was no collaboration or no input taken from the customer throughout building the product. With the agile methodology, we basically involve the customers once uh, as the product is developed so that customer gets to know how the product will look at end of the cycle. And at the same time, they can provide us the feedback so that we can incorporate the new changes in the uh, in the mid of developing the product by having these scrum calls on the daily basis. The third value was changes welcome and or changes flexibility. As I mentioned, the customer was involved in 
in throughout the development uh, throughout the development of the product which brought the flexibility to incorporate the new changes or new features while building up the product since we were communicating with the customer the uh, with these uh, uh, the values we had the shorter development cycle right because we used to get the feedback and we used to break the product into the steps which resulted in developing the certain features in the faster way the second um, um the second problem which was solved was the lower development cost since we were communicating with the uh, stakeholders and other stuff we knew how much time efforts and the team is needed to develop that product the um, the fourth value which were uh, which we were talking is working on the product that is finalizing your deliverables over compressive documentation in the old traditional workflow the main focus was on preparing the uh, documents which involved specification requirement gathering and how the plan would look like and then getting an approval on that plan in with the agile methodology the focus was to understand how much we can deliver and then definitely getting that documented and approving it so that was solved with this agile methodology with this it helped us to lower our risk factor sorry for the typo error it also helped the seamless management i mean seamless communication between the different teams or between the management i hope at end of the day the customer was happy because we are delivering the end product what customer wanted it is said that rather than getting a product successful it's better to make a successful product and that was the agile methodology which helped us to deliver the successful product rather than making product successful now let's understand what is continuous integration was is what is continuous delivery so if you see this diagram i will walk through what these stages are but before that let's learn the term what is continuous integration and continuous delivery so ci stands for continuous integration which is a software development practice in which all developers merge code changes in the central repository multiple times a day that is git or github the builds can be scheduled multiple times in a day once you have committed the change or merge the changes into the central repository you can schedule the builds multiple times in a day with the help of jenkins these frequent builds help easy and low risk experimentation as well as ability to easily roll back your changes since you have integrated the the code merging with a uh, testing it becomes easy to get the feedback by the automated testing tools incorporated in the junkins you can easily know what to roll back or what is causing the impact to the code right now let's understand what is continuous delivery so the continuous 
CD stands for continuous delivery and it is the stage which picks up where CI leaves that is built, which means the completed build is now ready to deploy on production after thoroughly tested and validated, but needs to be done manually. I will explain why we need to do manually. CD focuses or aims to get software ready for release at any time. So in certain organization, we follow continuous delivery where we want to make sure that before we deploy the code into the production environment, we have proper change ticket in place where we can track what all changes are going into production, what will be its impact to the downstream or to the product. And once this change ticket is approved, then the uh, production support guy goes and deploy that change into production. So that's why it is called has continuous delivery where the code is ready to get deployed in production at any time but it needs to be done manually when we talk about continuous deployment we will be focusing on what is continuous deployment and what is difference between continuous integration versus continuous delivery versus continuous deployment that's going to be altogether a different session the next topic we are going to talk about why it is called ci cd pipeline right because this is an automated process so pipeline is a process that drives the software development through part of building testing and deploying the code automatically without any manual environment Hence, it is called CI-CD pipeline. As you see on the screen, we will integrate our code with the Git. So once you have uh, written a code, you will commit your code into Git repository. Once the Git, um, the code is committed into the GitHub or Git repository, we will build the Jenkins job, which will fetch that code, run the build using Mav, uh, Apache Maven, and then we will also integrate Selenium or JUnit plugins to start and will write the test cases so that they can do the test. With, that's why it is called has integration because you are integrating your code code changes along with the integration and once the uh, code has been tested and reviewed now the uh, time is to get it deploy into the staging environment from QA to SID and SID to UAT and then finally into production. So that's why it is called as CICD pipeline because this whole process you can automate using Jenkins. Now let's learn what are the benefits of CICD. So the first benefit is fee fewer bugs. Since you have um, integrated your code changes with the testing, you get a notification quite earlier or you are notified about the bugs in the code at the earlier stage. The second benefit is stability and reliability. Once you have developed this uh, whole uh, uh, CICD pipeline in the um, uh, lower environment or once you have built this whole process, you can be easily reliable and it is just one time, one time effort. Manual work reduction. Why? Because we have automated now the process of building the code, uh, committing the code, building it, 
doing the testing by integrating the selenium J unit tool with the Jenkins. No need of ops team to go ahead and trigger the build. You have already created the automated process and um, the Jenkins would be notified as soon as the change is committed into the Git or Git repository and it will start building up and then you can start doing the testing. The second benefit, uh, sorry, the fourth benefit is features get released more frequently. With this, you can easily release the uh, features within a uh, uh, two weeks of time uh, as you have already split the whole big product into the step uh, into the steps the another benefit is built for the long term as i mentioned what this is one time effort once you have built it stays long time you have built in sid now the same thing you can um building UAT and at the end of the day into production. So it stays for the long term. And the last benefit is more efficient testing. Since you have integrated your code with the testing, now it becomes easier to uh, do the testing in more efficient way, right? Once the test cases, it will get kicked off. It will notify the developers that this test case went, uh, it could not um, um, you reach, uh, it was above the threshold reach and now you need to work on that. So at end of the day, this is what is the CI CD, which is continuous integration, continuous delivery plan, code, build, test, release, deep. I hope you got an understanding of what is CICD and how Agile methodology helps us to solve the problems of traditional software development cycle or call has, has a waterfall model. If you have liked this video, kindly like, uh, hit the like button and comment and share this video with your friends. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.